Okay, it's about time to continue the in, in, internal war. Yeah, that's... Like, it's funny, you come to the point where uh, civil war is a more of a threat and a bigger issue than um, any of the other factions on the map, to be honest. Even as part of it, it's hoplites. Those are gonna be a tough nut to crack, to say the least. They will just refuse to break even when they're flanked and surrounded. I need to snipe their generals, I think. I did peace out everyone, I think. Yeah, only the pirates are still left. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill or slowly, and I may. It looks like the Bashiles has problems with the rebel constant rebellions, apparently. Let's see. Kimbros. Nope. I don't want to do anything with this. I think Sparta at this point is just. Um, Salty about me not trading with them. Then again, I can't. Because they didn't take Athens. They puppeted them. And Knossos is just sitting there doing nothing. Okay, that's not in my sea space, is it? So it's... Is it my problem? I hope not. Leave her there. How can I be of assistance? Yeah, that one got killed up there somewhere, if I remember correctly. Swift and silent position. My skills are yours. Yeah, all of that, Zephyrus. What the hell did the Spartans get this? What the hell? That's interesting. Yeah, I need to bring her back. Let's see. Did you call this again? Did they not end on an end turn? Fire maintenance. Lakota. Control conversion. Let's see. Empire main. We're not gonna get any of the buffs for money though. Okay, they're transporting. Sitting there. Let's uh, dock these for a turn. I wish there was a warning for that, to be honest. But this one, what are we doing with this one? Alright, oh, has an army on it. Can we move them though? Can. I think it's gonna be faster if we transport them to Sicily. Docking. Then onwards. Uh, Let's see. We hunger for battle. That should be it for the armies, I think. Can we get any more agents, though? Nope. Okay, let's check this. I do know 
Maybe we should upgrade root. Get the fuck off. It's gonna take 12 turns though. And that should fix up the public order. That's gonna screw up the public order. Let's see here. All these should fix everything. Get that upgraded. Nothing we're gonna need. Yep, we're gonna need more food here. And here. I think we do have a deficit here, but it's not that big of an issue. Just check all of these. This is fine now. Right. Politics. I can't remember how much or can you even get this lower enough so you lose one of some of these. I think you should be able to, even now. If you can secure promotion, yes, we can. Should have fixed that up a little bit. Let me check something. There's surely there's something they can do to like increase their influence. like it. Yep. Now I need to just transport the troops and prepare it for the war. Now the problem is that Sparta is going to be a uh, they sort of spread out. Why do they have a territory there? Like, they have Sparta and something up here. I can't remember which one it is. Which city it is. be a better idea to just transfer the two armies up north. Well, that's fun. But you're gonna get my ship until I get my guys over there.
Or I could just leave Britannia to themselves. They were gonna fight each other forever, it seems. this down further. Nice. Yeah, hopefully this was going to be the closest one. Yeah, player. I need to get them over there too. They didn't lose too many men. Got them in there. Hop over there. Right, I do need to make this fleet or build this fleet up. A 40 meter long ore ship with two do decks of wars, each ore powered by three oarmen, armed with a Harpax, Harpax weapon. Now this has become a Baltic pulp, uh, simulator. God damn it. Yeah, I have to do it. Alright, so I think Emissary is gonna give us food. Send uh, my wife's weaves to go and uh, go uh, like be emissaries so they lose the influence. Uh, look at that 503 influence. Jesus Christ. Now watch this one give me, get me a fucking city in uh, uh, Sparta somewhere. I do wish they gave you a number of fifth ones for these. So I don't have to mouse over each one of them. 14 to 170. Can you find a wife? Yes. Yes, you can. And we're out of money again. even lower the public order down further or the taxes still further maybe a good idea to stabilize the regions we're gonna get more money out of them either way I do that The chosen of Ra commands that your goods and merchants are not welcome in his beloved lands. You move armies out of Egypt and they declare war on you. How fun! Well, I can't say I'm surprised. 
I might need to just revert one army back in there, to be honest. I can always recruit the troops with the armies I have around in the cities as well. And then I only level them up to be governors. Which may make battles a bit more difficult. I think I'm gonna move one of the armies back. The famous part, nice. Ah, oh, shit. the fight. Yeah. Get out. Moving out. And unfortunately, march all the way back. Yes. Let's move this these ones to attack that. I think it's gonna I think it's hurting me. Oh well I mean yeah. I have to get rid of them just in case anyway. It is an honor. Going just one more turn if they declare war on me this time, I'm gonna be pissed. What do you wish Public order is all more sorted everywhere. Finally. I could save up some money to recruit that fleet. And why do you want to trade with us? Come on. Damn it. Only enough Pepper is starting to like me. Uh, like me, well, hate me less than the other other factions. That is. Celtic culture influence. That may be bad for here. Right. Get these guys out. For honor and glory. Get more food here. And let's upgrade this. Do we really need anything from here? Not really. To save up the money for the rest. We hunger for battle. Okay, Dread Command. Let's get rid of the upkeep costs. What else do I need? Right now, let's see. Right, that. Command. Of that. Jesus Christ, the politicians cost a shit low now.
Twenty four fifty. Okay, everything's fine there. Can anyone get the promotion? That one guy who just leveled up should be able to get the promotion if I should. Should come on. Probably not. You find a wife. I'm gonna need to place two armies here. Spartans move their forces away. Right, they're at war here somewhere. Mm, yeah, they are. Against these guys. Put a click on them. Emperor, which leaves Epirus undefended, more or less. Right time for me to strike, to be honest. I just need to bring uh, the other army over there. Only the problem is going to be the fleets, I think, more or less. Nothing else. Then again, uh... Not sure which of those are fleets and which of those are actual, you know, armies. We're gonna see which ones are which. Because I do have armies covering all N Noria up there, Segestia. Can the grab the two other ones down here in Dalmatian? The omens have been read. And the gods decree an alliance. Do not dare defy the gods. What are they at war with? No one really. Seleucids are making a comeback, apparently. I expected an honorable proposal, yet still wisdom eluded you. Your wisdom does elude me. Exactly, is there? A f Why is exactly is the garrison starving here? Plums. Where the hell they? Ah, oh, shit. No, there's a couple places I destroyed the turret building. I think. Let me just get those guys off the ships. This is annoying. Your orders. Yeah, this is a fleet. 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 Oh god damn it. Ready for order. How about you come this way? Set up the watch. It is an honor to serve Rome. Gonna take two extra turns. Hmm. Welcome. The day is already old, and there is maybe I can, maybe I can use abuse the diplomacy a little bit. Find these factions. I have little gain in wasting the day on you. What you say had better please my ears. 
Oh, my peep. We hunger for battle. We hunger for battle. Ready for orders. This one is gonna be. Oh, shit. We take this settlement for Rome! Set up a blockade! Yeah, fucked up there. Royally. Below that. I'm gonna take what I can with the armies I already have in the Illyria. I'm gonna need the other army to defend the the Roman lands for our side of the Mediterranean. Wait a minute, that's not the Mediterranean. I can't say it for some reason. I just can't say the words. The name of well, the sea. For some reason. I can escape the wrath of Sparta for a turn. This way. See, I need to bring an army into aluminum. Aluminium. Cover all the coastal cities. With fleets. Swap over to Apollonia. The load times are really long, even on a M. Well. I do have an M.2 SSD, not the MVV SSDs. So it could be faster, maybe. But I do think it's still down to the engine. All right, I started in your capital. You expect that it was uh, in 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 instigated by one of your other political parties. Accused them in accusing Polly crushed the right. Um... And I forget about it again. Where are the pirates? Okay. Okay, now. You go up here. Get to it, men. We hunger for that your command. Yes. Public order will suffer a little bit. Easy in support. Just a wee bit. Fleet reporting. Be a good idea to attack some of these fleets. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's see what we can do. Welcome. Speak. Come on. Do not waste time. Better spend it hunting. Those guys are not at war with them for some reason. Speak quickly and well. 
Wait a minute. Greetings. Well, do not stand there, mute as though with the tongue cut from your head. Here, this way we can get some money out of him for that. You don't Even if only a thousand. Better than nothing. Ready for battle. Now, hopefully, whatever comes our way this way from here. Actually, we could just do this, right? Wait a minute, that's not my spy. Shit. Yeah, they do have an army there. And we do have two armies in our way here. What's the losses here like? Too many. Besieging settlement. Ready for orders. Yeah, we can win this. lower losses than the game predicts. They have some Falksmen there. Seems like it at least. Where the hell did they spawn so far back? What the hell? Be in range in the, of them. Immediately, okay, that's fine. Oh, an uneven number of legionaries. So disgusting. Yeah, let's see. Heavy thorax infantry. Yep. Heavy phalanx, heavy melee, light melee. Most of the front line is going to be phalanx. Their flank is guarded by heavy melee, though. So they do that. They do have two heavy melee units, which are going to be the biggest threat here. Phalanxes, we can always uh, outflank. The strength. Where the fuck are they going, though? No, oh, they're taking the defensive while I bombard them with the uh, catapults. That makes sense. Ready and wait. 
Let's stop these guys from firing. Get them off them up. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I think we may have shot some of our own guys with the uh, with the artillery. As per usual. Ah, shit. Any key phalanxes? for the heavy phalanx, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what's your fucking move when I tell you to? Yeah, we'll flank with these, but uh, I want Phalanx up, the, up in their ass, to be honest. And the minus flanks breaking. What the hell is this? Don't do that. One of our units has used all its 
ammunition. Equities! Missiles awaiting targets! Legionary cavalry! Ready! Quickly now! Doesn't really want to get stabbed by the phalanx, apparently. these guys like they'll they broke through my lines somehow and now are flanking my own units with one unit that makes sense But you just break. Come on. So I mean, uh, Spartans were gonna be a lot worse than these. They just never break until they do. Hmm. I was surprised. Then think those will break that easily. Same, come on. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Come on, just break. Come on, there we go. Should be about it for them. General, no, I would need to bring all all these all the way around to actually fight some of them. The battle is turning in our favor. Okay, there we go. I don't want to wipe them all out, though. Run quickly now! Engage! Your 
don't need any survivors. It's funny, but, uh, well, I guess... See, Medieval 2 have the capture enemies mechanic. You know, where you can see how many prisoners of war you got in the bottom left of the screen. I don't know why they got rid of that, because you still have a option to, like, enslave people. this up a little bit. That's a lot of losses, but it's at least on uh, some of the units, not all on all of them. So we can peel them off if we need to. Surprisingly enough, uh, the Felixmen didn't do as much as I think they would do, to be honest. Some of the horses took damage, but then again, I did send them to fight Phalanx units. Oh my god, he fucking survived. This is actually pretty good. I can lure the garrison out and kill them on the field. We don't have to do that in the, in the settlement. Makes this thing this a little bit easier, even. What the fuck is this battlefield? Yeah, I live in this area and you're not gonna find fucking terrain like this, to be honest. See where their enforcements come from. By all the gods, I think I'm the luckiest man alive. I have you to command and prospect of glorious victory. I thank the gods for the enemy reinforcements approaching. Yeah. All the way in the bag, that's nice. This may not be the smartest of ideas, but do want to kill off the general right away. We use some additional, may lose some additional care because of it. God damn it, they're shooting at the fucking retreating guys. Legionary 
What's up, Barra? Thank thanks for the raid again. How's it going? In Monster Hunter World, did you figure out which weapon you want to use? Yeah, this is just a bunch of uh, garrison units. These are going to fall pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, that's the ass slammed by uh, a fucking monster. This is Monster Hunter World, right? Well, rising. Usually how it goes. Come on, don't get aggro. Oh, fucking sick. <laughs> I sure wasn't rising. <laughs> uh, those things usually go down, right? I sort of fixed my political issues here. So we're not going to be falling to chaos from inner conflict. So I can actually finally take out Epirus, maybe Sparta as well. That's gonna be a fucking issue. I'm never gonna break. Uh, sure, follow the horses. You're gonna catch up to them. No, no question about that. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, now I'll squeeze these through. Right, maybe stop lobbing rocks at my own guys. That might be smart. Uh, well, the micromanaging these units is not that difficult. You basically just make a line. Enemies come into it. Well, I charge this time, but usually how it goes. You just make a line, enemies charge into it. You have a couple of troops to go behind and flank them. That's about it. Nothing to it. It does uh, require some practice to like do it as fast as I do. That's what you're asking. Okay, those are broken already. Most of the newer Total Wars are kinda easy. Well, unless you play it on Legendary, of course. Where a fucking peasant unit could beat tier 3 or 4 units. Legionary cohort. Sons of Mars. Ready to ride. I need to actually catch up to all of these in Slaughter Room. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Which is why you want to envelop them. I think I'd say this is a lot easier than something like Hearts of Iron. Some of the other like grand strategy games. You need a front line, you need a couple of units to flank, you have to catch the, well, the running enemies and the archers, that's about it. If you play Total War Warhammer though, archery is key, range units just wipe out everything else, infantry is not that much important anymore, plus you have magic in that. I'm not going to be able to catch all of these. Uh, well, the... Yeah, micro. It depends on which game. Like in uh, Total War in Warhammer. have yeah, kind of sucks. Well, I'll... 
Yeah, kind of, unless you just uh, have a flying cavalry and just, you know, go for the artillery units or archers. Basically, cav is useless for the most part. Tornia. Yeah, it is a bit. Like, Britonia, you either suck or you're godlike at it. Your calves suck ass or they destroy everything. I, I feel. At least that's how I feel. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight this one. Big brain games. Well, aren't the FPS's uh, big brain games as well? And I need to think so you don't get your ash, uh, your shit pushed in by some other players. I out, all them out positioning you. <laughs> well, orcs, orcs are really, you know, a one-trick pony. Just overwhelm your enemies. Like the, eh, skaemans are more about outgunning the enemy, I'd say. Yes. Okay, they don't have the fleet there. That's gonna be good. Okay, that's the right kind of uh, thing I need there. Okay, I guess let's do a big siege battle. Orcs is about fighting and winning. With our gods Gork and Mork on our on our sides. I do that. Uh, I did uh, last time. Well, for the most part, I play Warhammer Total War 2 with the mods on. I saw I use Radius and Dart mod, and the uh, SFO right. Steel Fate. So uh, have, you have a bunch more units at your disposal. Makes the game a bit more interesting to me, at least. Romantide 3. Uh, I'm not so sure about that, to be honest. I mean, I, I was hoping to see Rorks in Romantide 2, but they went with uh, Beastmen. And they fucked the whole game up with that update. What the fuck am I gonna enter here? All right, I need to look at the streets here. Hmm, let's come in from this way. I mean, uh, uh, Wormtide is still fun. I do play with a couple of friends. Almost. Yeah, a couple of times a week. I'm not going to say each day. Still fun. And we're going to get a new update, which, got, which is going to make the chaos ways a bit more difficult, apparently. Break down the walls there. Alright, they have ballist crossbowmen here. Okay, let's get another guy there. And here. Uh, I think the update's coming on the 13th. Oh, wait. Uh, just look it up on Steam. There's going to be an update there. Oh, it's still rough. Uh, well, it does have some bugs still. Uh, like, uh, for the longest time, if you gave the Endless Bomb potion to someone, it will bug out your hands. And you couldn't do anything until you die or pick something up. They fixed that for the players, but not for the bots, which... This is me off to no end. Go oh, anything with the Twitch mode is gonna be a pain in the ass. It's doable though. If you have a good team. Even solo actually. What's up, Asuka? How's it going? Get over there. Okay, 
I might do some Total War Warhammer 2 at some point. Boy, oh, off a cliff. Now, if, uh, if you want a good bot, you just make a bard in Ironbreaker bot. They basically never die. They only take damage from gas and uh, fire. Warp fire. Uh, uh, when the, uh, did you play when they implemented the grudge uh, grudge marks on the monsters in the chaos race? Was there so there was some combos for that which were just fucking unfair. This is a thorn. I ref I still to this day refuse to buy the Vinzo Magic and any elf class because for some reason any elf that comes into the game sucks ass. I don't know what it is. It's it's just it, it just is. And they did nerf. Sisters of the Throne for all time, been told by the people who play elves. The walls are breached. Evocati. Okay, break down another piece. And okay, break down this one. We need to make a bigger hole. the fuck is it? How about you stay in line like he told you? I really don't know what it is. Whoever plays Elf is just either an asshole or doesn't know how to play. I don't know what it is. Something about the Elves attracting that kind of people. Oh my! Uh... Look at that. Nobody's, nobody's pushing the towers. What the hell, man? They couldn't animate that. Glory Come on! Seems like they started making the Congo line of suicide. Apparently, that still happens here. Okay, no, no, no. Wait a second. Whoops. So I did forget the cav. Uh, that fire to the gate here. The walls are breached. Jupiter gives us strength. Melee infantry at your Praetorian guard. Okay, they can't burn down the gate. Funnily enough, I did uh, run into a couple of Shade players that are pretty decent. A couple. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh yeah, the rage quits are real. Sure. I mean, I, just, I do still play. I didn't want you to play, but you're from America, right? So your ping would be shit. Day, at least. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Would you would you touch that ladder to the walls? Come on. Oh, this is gonna be a stalemate. Those phalanxes are gonna prolong this battle for a million years. Unless, what the hell am I capturing this now? Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, get up there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. There you go. Come on, come on. This is what I want in Bannerlord. Infantry going up the ladders. Not just sitting at. 
I shouldn't have spoken. These guys, okay, destroy the gatehouse. Actually, it would be a good idea to squeeze some of these through. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh yeah, and Warhammer definitely. And I do hate to, like uh, when you do like destroy the, you know, two pieces of wall that are right next to each other. Like the middle part stays up. Like much rather it be like this, you know. These guys are gonna get sandwiched by. Okay, Lanks, that's not good. That they might take a hot minute. Hmm, who's gonna win? Medium shock cab or a... Uh Clear three heavy cav. Uh, Warhammer three sieges. I haven't played Warhammer three yet. But from what I've seen, there's a huge load of bugs. You can like drag the reinforcement thing at the back of the settlement on some maps, which was really funny to see. Okay, you need to get in there. You and you guys. Eagle cohort. At speed. Maybe bit, uh, let's quick, let's attack these in the back. Or actually just get them out of there for now. I think most people are just waiting for the Mortal Empires map, which has a beta test apparently on a. Uh, Okay, it's gonna have a beta test in September, so we should be getting it by the end of the year at least. That's what I'm waiting for. Okay, there is no gate anymore, right? Nope. Uh, for the most new games, I'd say you just want to wait at least a couple of months before you buy them. Till the bugs are ironed out. Because usually, un unless you're a content creator, a big one that gets free stuff, uh, there's, you're better off not playing it until it gets fixed. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh yeah, I do. Ha I do this see a lot of people complain about the, well, you know, the end game, the chaos portals, and the you know the race in the chaos realms to get the buffs and whatnot. How about you stay clear away from that? These guys are not going to have shot at anything. Let's see if we can get these through. Be able to. Ready and waiting. Your orders. Mars aid us. I think I see more people like actually excited about the prologue of the tutorial campaign than uh, than the normal campaigns you can do, which is not good for the creative assembly, definitely. Units has used all its ammunition. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. The prologue is definitely one of the best. Well, since I say since uh, Rome one, I'd say. I think Rome one had one of the best prologues. Come on. Look at that. These guys open up to crossbow shot. Nice. Maybe I shouldn't have sent the eagle cohort up the ladders there. That was a bad idea. There's a bit too many of them. So let's uh, flank all the way. I think the people who do play or stick to playing Dot War are, you know, older players who already know the franchise. Not sure how many of the new people actually still, you know, sit around and play it. I mean, I, I, I each year go through all the mostly, most of the Dot War games and play through them again. No, I think uh, from what I've saw the, saw from the tutorial, I would actually play it, you know, all the way through, just because of the story and everything. Lightroom 2 had a tutorial as well. I don't think I played it though. <laughs> to be honest. I don't know where they are, though. <laughs> Demons. Well, people are... Uh, people are... No one wants to save the bear. People are uh, into chaos. And debauchery. That's the cool thing, man. Being the bad guy. Then again, the is it Bellacor? Yeah, the the faction where you can customize the faction leader, whatever it's called. I forgot. And the chaos on the white, right? That one's pretty cool because you know you're not a preset character. You can make your own. Even though uh, you're better off just playing with any of the other chaos factions. And even Warhammer 2, uh, there's a lot of people who just uh, rush. Is that it? Yes. <laughs> no one likes the bear, man. Who, know, who likes Kislev? They ride bears in the battles. I know, I kind of like the human factions because I guess especially Kislev is like a. Um, in a real shit position, I'd say. Because you're just, you know, on, you're in a civil war and plus everything else is just attacking you. That may be true. Commander. Yeah, there is the... I forget uh, what the system is called, but you know, Kislev, you need to get the, you know, to prove your dominance over the other, the orthodox guy, church, whatever the hell, the orthodoxy. And that seemed to be the deal with all the total wars. You kind of want to rush before the enemy gets too strong, I guess. Especially if you're playing on higher difficulties. And here, look at this. I took. I could have took taken out Epirus at the beginning of the game. It would have been piss easy. Now they're kind of the most annoying faction I have here. Well, this is Dividate Impera, and I'm on turn what? 282. 
Which I guess I could shoot it in this. See how slowly I conquered? Okay, turn 66 I took Sicily. Turn 100 I conquered the entire of the normal Italian peninsula area. And then on turn 27 I took Carthage and Sardinia and Corsica. Then like I started to expand a bit faster. That take me a long time though. Like at this point I would have uh, finished the normal campaign. No, no, Rome 2 is not slower paced, so you can finish it, you want to rush in it, and in the native game, this is with Devide Tempera. So, let me send you the link. Or if you want to play with this mod, if you want like a slower paced game and micromanage everything. You can see here, each settlement has a population system. The Roma population, the population of Rome, patrician, plebeians, proletarian, like immigrants. Yeah, this mod is a lot slower pace, and plus, anything that you can recruit, like you have your professional units, then you have your, um, what you call them, auxiliaries. And all these different ones uh, come from a different, you know, population type. So you have to manage that as well. Because if you lose too many uh, partitions, you're not going to be able to recruit Triaria at the beginning, for, for example, or the horsemen. Oh, you're definitely missing out. Now for Rome Total War, uh, Warhammer 2, I do play with the Radius mod, I think. Oh. Adds a whole lot to the game, adds a whole lot of uh, units, and it's just an overhaul. Just makes everything a lot different, makes magic a lot more powerful though. Alright, for Medieval 2, you probably play the Stainless Steel, right? That was one of the bigger mods. But I'll just go take a piss real quick while this loads in. Mm, there's still people who prefer the Total War War, uh, the Warhammer mod for the old Total War, to be honest. Which I'm not surprised, to be honest. Uh, Total War Warhammer is a lot simplified version of Total War. The one for Medieval 2, is it? A lot more complex. Yeah, 
and uh, I think War, uh, Warhammer is, is just gonna be the one f that's gonna be played the longest, just because it has so many, so many like diverse factions and ways you can play it. So that's gonna gonna stick around because of that. Plus, you can have every playstyle. You can rush Ready to ride. with the Skaven, for example, or you can play slower, like with the dwarves, for example. Plus the mods makes a big difference if you want to add anything else into it. Yeah, we did have Mark of Chaos back in the day. Was pretty good. Was a linear campaign though, but was still was pretty good, in my opinion at least. Where the hell is that calf going? Nowhere apparently. I want to see where these two are going to land. One of our units has used all its ammunition. There's a lot of those older games on sale now on GOG if you want to pick any of them up and play them again. By the way. Well, I don't know that one. I wasn't born uh, early enough, I guess. I mean, uh, there's a lot of those Warhammer games I didn't play. I was, you know, a kid back then. And nowadays, I have so many games, I can't really get into any of them. I get enough time to get into it. God damn, this cab is annoying. Big IP. Put them on the fire. I mean, it sounds familiar, I just can't remember. How about you don't do that? Did I play it at some point or something? Or watch the video on it at least? Why do they always go for the. They want to get the eagle, man. They're not gonna get it. Oh god, fucking damn it. Let's move up. They still have range. Actually, I could just let them fire at me. Dynasty Warriors style combat, trash gameplay. Ah, I think I knew that. I think I watched a video on that. It's a bit over the top, right? Like a lot of fan, a lot of you know magical bullshit. And it. Screw the, uh. <laughs> when the devs don't screw up these days, right? Let's bring these guys here. Actually, just stop. I 
Made a savage out of him again. Oh yeah, micro. Uh, there's a problem with the new Dark Tide game. Uh, it's, I think it's gonna be a problem. Uh, the like Vermintide style, like, but Warhammer 40k. The, there are. I've seen some credits in there, like a premium currency. That can't go wrong, can it? You're gonna decide. Jesus Christ. I mean, does any game have a good relationship with micro currencies? Unless it's like a free to play game, I guess. Okay, the, all of those are broken apparently. guys so far they can't get over them you know, there's a lot of shitty warhammer games mobile games especially Guild Wars 2 and Lothar a lot of the rings online yeah, that makes sense. They're both free to play. They have to make their money some way. And it's not like you need to buy the microtransactions. Even like Path of Exiles. You can just not buy the... More slots. Inventory slots and whatnot. It's not that bad. Even Warframe. Is, as I'd say, good. I mean, the game is just a grind, but uh, if you want to get anything faster, you can't just grind for something you already have, which is easier to get than sell it on the, you know, trade on the market with a platinum. So there are examples, but most of them just suck ass. Back in the day. It's still the same, isn't it? Better now. Oh yeah, but this is a grind. It is just a grind, basically. No, it's still fun, I'd say. Even though I never got up into like you know higher end bolt stuff, I didn't even complete the star chart all the way to the end. I think I got no, I didn't get stuck on Neptune. I don't remember which planet I got stuck on. Ready? By stuck, I just couldn't. Uh, I just couldn't solo the capture pointing. If you remember that mission, whatever it's called. At once. Okay, now the hard part here. I think Ultras will do all these because I suck at them. And hopefully not lose half my fleet. Definitely looks like I want to grab the ships that are just going to deal the damage or the sea, you know, the ballista ships. And I remember when they dropped the like operator update. I just, I just, I can't figure it out still to this day. Like, what, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Or how to get half of the stuff and upgrade him and all that? Okay, let's not go for upkeep yet.
Okay, let's just. I guess we're gonna test it all next turn. Yeah, the opera it was a real confusing thing. Yeah, they did. I even, I even watched a shitload of videos and I still can't figure it out. Like, what? Or the grind for it. Jesus Christ. Get all the upgrades. Or even one of the. Uh, what is it? Skulls? Right? Oh yeah, I have. <laughs> that is, that is annoying. And you do you know, your hunting relics down, and you just can't get a single fucking part, and you keep getting all the other ones. You have a million, you know, copies of duplicates. Again, there is something zen about just sitting in on, on a extraction mission. Wait, not. One of the survive, you know, the, the ones you can play forever. You just, you know, sit there and farm the enemies. Well, by that point, uh, you could have sold the extra parts or the extra blueprints. You just gotten the thing you need. Or just buy the microtransaction coin, right? Platinum. <laughs> hey man, you only sunk, sunk time into it, nothing else, right? Ready for battle. I assume these are gonna make an of course, they're not in range of that. They're in range of. Uh... Can't even fucking. The aluminium. Aluminium. Let me remember to destroy all these. Maybe one more run. Just another one. Surely, this time. I'm gonna get it. Can't be that elusive, right? Got that, uh, I got this. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have to take out Sparta as well. Which is going to be a pain in the ass. Ready for orders. Now fuck it, I'll set these in here for one turn. Or right, let's start upgrading this because it's going to take a million years. Yeah, so the way you see this is a lot slower paced. Look at the time to upgrade something. 14 turns. I've seen things that take like... And that's with all the, up, uh, uh, you know, research done. So this is a lot slower paced than anything else. Like, to switch this, it's going to take 16 turns. You see? To switch this, it's going to take, yeah, again, 16 turns. So it is a lot slower paced. If that's the thing you want. Yeah, except the like Shrine of Cain, everything else is below 10 turns, I think. Let me see if we can... Uh... Remote any of these. Fucking Baldex, man. Okay, finally. Jesus Christ. We just needed to drop to 79%. That minus 12 public order and minus 20% morale for units is like shit. 15 plus uh, for the trees. 
I think the Shrine of Canes takes uh, like 20, right? If I remember correctly. Anyway, let's send out diplomats. Or maybe save our... Yeah, it might be a better idea to save up the money. I do need to train up another fleet. If you play like uh, the, in the way people play play them for the most part with the a lot of sisters of uh, whatever the, you know ranged units and all that and getting the like uh, sword of cane on uh, what's his face can't remember Tyrion just having him as a one man army it is a bit boring yes I mean even just people going out of their way to just make one man armies is kind of Stupid, I think. Which rather like want to use your units? Let me see here. Or well, units be for light, very light infantry. Yeah, like I have any of those. Ar Ar Ariel. She's the one uh, with the heart on her faction thing, right? Ready for orders. Check the fleets. Your orders. What the hell was I doing with this one? Right. Pirates. That's a hard girl. Yeah, her archers or faction thing, speciality. Using that only is a bit, uh, a bit boring, at least. Well, I'd say it depends on if you're uh, which difficulty you're playing on, because all the factions are kind of hard and legendary, I'd say. And if you do play with mods like SFO or uh, Radius, uh, things start to get a little bit more difficult, especially if you run into someone who uses magic. Because uh, magic is a bit uh, buffed, a little bit, just a bit, not too much. And as for Bretonia, I think you just uh, want to abuse the archers and the cat catapults, more or less. Right, yeah, if you do play with Radius mod, I think it's Radius mod. Uh, you know, like the usual, like, four armies that can match, or like, what is it? It basically triples or quadruples the amount of Chaos armies when a Chaos invasion shows up. It's so fucking damn to, like, stay alive when they show up. Plus you have, like, Dark Dork Elves to contend with. Whatever, like, enemy factions you have. And I still didn't get to the like full-on chaos invasion as well. Indeed, like pre-chaos invasion was hard enough. War can end today, but only if you see matters as they are, not as you wish. You know, fuck you. I left you to live long enough. I spare their lives on the first ten turns, and this is how they repay me. Watch your bitches. I might play Warhammer at some point with the mod on so you can see what it's like. If we, before you try out, try it out for yourself. There's a lot of new factions. Oh god. More pirates. That's what I needed. The 
the load times, man. It do take all the turn times, I should say, not load times. I'm still surprised that uh, Sparta didn't declare a war on me. They're a bit scared, apparently. We don't care about that. Commit one army to save my ass over there. You can these guys hop over there, they cannot. This will bring this fleet to hop them over next turn. Or something like that. We're going to need a bigger fleet. Actually, let's get to one of these. As for you, and we're gonna need to bring them down here to recruit those better units. Nope. I need them down here. But they, they didn't move the fleet out of this area, so we can attack that with an, one army. Win it without any issues. Look at all that money. Let's see what the problem is here. L not enough manpower available. Because I need the uh, workers, the Politari. And there's none of them left here. Commander. Really like leaving these open. If I take that out, they don't have any armies here. So let's do that. It's easy enough to double back. It's a bit stale when it's the exact same fucking map. Couple times in the row. Well, let's not spread them out as much this time. That's the fucking rule in the speech. Wait, we have enemies on our ass.
They're actually trying to defend us. Or they are gonna defend, not just attack us. Interesting. Embark there. Jupiter gives us strength. They sure are. Nice spot to hunt, hunt them down. Yeah, definitely should have picked up some more. Uh, Things which are gonna give us uh, more. Uh... Come on, let me attack him. More ammunition. Have been a great idea. Now they're attacking us. One of our units has used all its ammunition. No, 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 no. Bog them down, come on. I think I will kill more of them. Uh oh. That's not good. Pay more attention. I want them to flank. That much at least. Those were nice and easy. Actually, we should kill him off. That's the general from the other army, so he doesn't run away. The enemy general is dead. Okay, that should be enough, I think. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, those are broken.
our units has used all its ammunition. Waiting. The Andrews. These are cohorts. Sons of Mars. Eagle cohorts. Orders. Advance at speed. Jupiter gives us. Those guys are surrounded. off to tag those no 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 of course he is Don't do. Let's not do that. You never know. Hey, that's not good. We're doing fine. We're finally at war with the Greeks and wiping them out. Took me long enough. Not a saw a chance where Epirus didn't have any armies on the coastal cities or the one right next to me. Well, didn't have that many armies. So uh, might be time to knock them out. Since I made that mistake at the beginning of the game. You know, leaving them alive. Look at the oh look at all these yellow chevrons or gold chevrons. Ready for orders. Now my only hope is Sparta is gonna be a bit too busy to declare war on me, but I'm gonna need to Greetings! Well, do not stand there, mute as though with the tongue. I'm gonna need to backstab him. You have the ear of my people. Do not waste words. Only 16, yeah. Maybe I should build bit uh start building these. Get the uh, less upkeep costs in these lands. That might be a good idea. In Egypt uh, broke the trade agreement, so I'm gonna assume they're gonna attack me soon enough. I need to bring an army up here. Sadly, I do need to keep two armies here because these Kimbros are going to attack me for sure at some point. 
Although they do have probably something here as well. The Ready for orders. Now where's my spy? I need to check this area out. They are bringing some armies my way. Maybe time to start abusing ambushes. Maybe time. 5% ambush chance. Come on. Surely there's better somewhere. Seems a bit low, to be honest. What about here? 45. Your next command. I'll take it. want these guys to replenish first. Need to pop this army fast over there. Commander. Next turn. They do have some fleets over here, so I can't really move them this turn. I want them to get wrecked. Let's get that, and... Uh, what do we need here? Mm, let's go for the ship right. For now. I think they're going to attack I, one of these two. We'll see which one. And I think I'm going to need... I think both of these are like liberated by Sparta, so they're both uh, client states. Which means I'm gonna need. Hmm. Let them not come out fast. I don't need any surprises from down here, to be honest. Greetings. Do not waste time on ill chosen words. Although an hour or two bathing would have been... I give you greeting and my attention. Let's see what Pergamon is about. You have my attention. I mean, I want to take the... Greek Peninsula here. Hoping that these guys are not going to declare war on me so that opens another front because that's going to suck. I do have all of this to, to like watch out for. Yeah, this trait, the bigger trait. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Just got that down, it's now back up again.
I'm gonna waste all my money on politics again. go down preferably to here because we're not going to get the uh, morale debuffs morale is going to be the most important thing here right I need to start building up building up the fleet over there recruitment capacity here okay, six of those let's go with six of these six then we're gonna grab the rest in the normal men and the supply crew so surprised I don't know why these alerts for raiding don't show up to be honest which I mean when I click the test raid button that it does work but normally when someone does raid it doesn't show up or host hmm face or swords but I might make the same mistake and fight in the city in the where the their phalanx is gonna screw my ass should I fight them on the field no that's a bit too much to fight on the field I think Well, not half bad, depending on where they're kind of come from. Deployables are so fucking useless. Welcome. Service. On the go! Hold 
position in service of Rome. Jupiter gives us strength. Understood. Melee infantry. Legionary cohort. Need to keep these in reserve. Legionary cohort ready. And my hope is they're gonna bunch up here. Eagle cohort in service to Rome. Legionary cohort. Romans ready for duty. But what the fuck is this? Actually, the idea is, would be to like place one back here and the other one here to flank him. Flank him. Missiles ready and waiting. Living. Everything depends on where they're going to come from. The reinforcements of this. What do we do? Some have some cav. General, your orders. Legatus, legionary cohort, ready. Don't have that much left to mess with. We'll see. Prepare yourselves, good sons of Rome, to fight treacherous and unmanly Greeks. Unmanly, I say. Enemy reinforcements approaching. They can bite and scratch like any other backstreet floozies. Give them the sword. Well, that's not good. The, yeah, that's real freaking bad. Legionary cavalry! Quickly now! Real fucking bad. Ah, oh, shit. Seems like most of their forces are going to come this way. In the name of Rome, ready and waiting. Melee infantry ready. Legionary cohort. But if you do kill their generals straight away, that might save our ass a little bit. Actually, maybe if I get rid of these quick, just survive this. Let's throw these out here to slow them down.
The problem is with these catapults, I'm not going to be able to use them, I don't think so. They can't lob shots over there. They're not going to charge those in the flank. Not you. Actually, yes, you. there, man. I need those just to hold them down for a little bit. Oh, it looks like some of the cow made it through. You should win against those, I think. So let's bring these slingers here. They should have a clear shot at them. Oh, these are heavy. Stop shooting. These might have a shot. Hippies. Bunch of hippies, man. Laps have broken, but it's not, not a surprise. The hippies in the plebs. These guys are losing a lot, though. By a lot, that is. I'm gonna use these to flank them. We'd hold everything here, which is gonna be. Looks like most of them are gonna come this way. I'm gonna bring two there, one here. Stand there. Would be a good idea to squeeze some of them through. God damn it. Let's move through them. Duty. 
Hold artillery, yours is command. Fellow infantry at your command. Jupiter gives us strength. Legionary cavalry. Commander. Right in front of the On the go! Dominate. Commander. Rover in Victor. Ready. Point blank shots gonna work for it. Uh, that's too thin. Okay, that one's not gonna work. Have a re-shot at them. I think I'm gonna need audio for this. General! Oh, General is being targeted. Of course he is. Should have flanked with some of these, to be honest. used all its ammunition. Yeah, some of them here are actually breaking. That's good for us. I think they should have more units coming in, if I'm not mistaken. They yeah. Legendary cohorts! 
No, I can't. Look, some of them are squeezed. Look at that. They just squeeze through my lines like it's nothing. soon enough they should they're rounded on all sides need to charge these here Only one unit. For fuck. Fuck's sakes. May need to use Cavs infantry again. These guys break yet? Of course not. These are not even Spartans either. to go this way. on the line if I ever saw one. It's kind of sucky when you uh, uh, I don't know I don't, I don't can't remember the word for it. When you line up orders like that, you queue them up, and they just stop one of the areas. Our 
Perhaps it's used all its ammunition. So like, why did these guys stop? Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. What you get out? get these guys off horses as well okay those are broken good 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 now flank these those guys didn't do what I asked asked them to This Congo line. What the hell is this game? Come on. Surprised if I don't lose any here again. Any units? Really light. Come on. Really, the mighty Romans can deal with those. is turning in our favor. Okay, finally. Jesus Christ. Costly victory indeed. But I think I have the field of Mars here somewhere.
so replenish replenishment shouldn't be a problem. Mm, Catapult's got a decent amount of kills as well. Nice. Yeah, let's see what, what I mean. I need to get them out in the field and fight them on the field. Legionary units. Jesus. Which means I can't go after them. Well, maybe, maybe if there's some mercenaries we can pick up. And go straight after them. this fleet wherever the hell it's going. But I was kind of surprised I didn't attack uh, the capital over there in Illyria. It would have taken that for sure. All the way over there. This is a fleet. Yes, it is. Papa boss, how is it going? Ready for battle. Embarking. They shouldn't have any more fleets, so let's transport these over. Hopefully. Hard on the oars, you men. Yes. Hmm, let's uh, bring them down here and recruit. I finally fixed up my political problems here, so we're actually taking out the Greeks. Well, at least working on it. <laughs> the Spartans are ready for me. Yeah, those are gonna be a pain in the ass to deal with. Right, let's see if we can catch these guys actually. Maybe it would, it would be a good idea to actually take the Knight Commander. After the... Uh, these buffs are too good to pass up though. left there but ah shit ready for orders let's see here you have a spy somewhere right that I do Something burns my passing. Ready for battle. None will escape. 
Okay, maybe not. My skills are yours. Uh, how can I? I serve only Rome. That's your command. Possibly uh, we don't have a recruitment thing here. That's bad. Commander. Need to bring this guy up. Let's put him on the bridge, see if we can get the bridge battle. You have further orders. Ready for orders. Could I'll resolve this, but well, it leaves me open to attack. Again, this high, there are higher chances we actually... Yeah, let's all resolve this one. There's higher chances for us to outright kill him. Come on. Well, at least one of them. At your command. Ready for order. To your duties, men. Rome needs good fighters. Well, let's destroy that for now. Maybe I should have brought. Yeah, I might should have brought this army here and tag them out since we can recruit here. Yeah, that was a better idea. Those are not Spartans, those are these guys. Uh, in Larissa. Uh, okay, let's uh, make a fill of Mars here. We're gonna need that. Right, and move the other fleet down. It is an honor to serve Rome. Six of these, six of those other ones. Let's grab this. Okay, so in ten turns we can use that. Two turns. Check the politics again. You find a beef. I need to bring down that morale decrease, definitely. That's gonna hurt my ass. But we can hire politicians as well. Junior. I mean, it's a waste of money, but we kind of need more guys here. Let's see, Gravitas per turn influence per turn for the ruling party, political party. That's not good, we don't need that. Mistress. Let's see here. I think that's gonna buff. I don't have anything that's gonna buff him. Now we don't have the. Jesus Christ, right? It cost a shitload. Literally took all my money away. Let's attack this. Or this. Hmm. If they do attack me with both armies here. 
Ready for battle. We're gonna be able to defend them. So let's actually stay outside the settlement. Is that all? Soldiering. So we can run away. You just stay there for now. You as well. Move the fleets. Let's get them all there. And he stands right in the desert where he's gonna take attrition. Perfect. That's what I needed in life. Romans dying in the desert. What should we go for the pirates in the Nile? It's like the game doesn't know that they are not at war and they just sit by your guys waiting. Trying to attack. I offer peace as I would throw a rope to a drowning man. Well, do you wish to clamber aboard? How about no? Let you link long enough. Well, yeah. let you live long enough. I mean, hopefully this is a bridge battle. Then again, I do have enough infantry to actually handle all of this, I think. This is interesting. There's three crossings, apparently. Although they're... Mm, yeah, they might have a bit of a... advantage here because they have phalanxes. Gonna be harder to defend. Why the hell did the game set me up here? Enforcements approaching. What the f if the reinforcements are gonna come from there? What the hell game? Oh this well right, this is the golden army. They cannot be beaten. Uh, I'm gonna reload that. I just need to see, like, what is that uh, entire reinforcement army gonna come from my left? Oh, that's why the game, like, set me up there. Fail. Hmm. I didn't notice uh, YouTube added stream markers. A great highlight video thing. Game level ups for me retreating. <laughs> they learn their deaths now. Faction beating Rome <laughs> like that would have ever happen. And a bridge battle as well.
uh, maybe the last reinforcements are gonna come from there, but uh, the 396 guys is not that big of a threat, I don't think. Okay, let's see now. Those guys there. The rest of them are gonna be here. There can't pay possibly be a way you can get through. Get it? Check to be honest. I guess since they're gonna go for the Eagle Cohort, let's place him first. There's no way around that. Check this out. Don't tell me you can't go through there. Jesus Christ, what the fuck game? Enemy reinforcements approaching. At least I hope the enemy is not going to go that way. way now let's keep shooting here come on you're attacking me oh that's oh this is dumb so fucking dumb has used all its ammunition. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I was gonna suck a little bit since, uh... I'm not gonna really have a way to flank him, am I? Besides the cab, though, is. Right. Dude, I'm dead. Let's do that, actually. Let them move in a little bit. Let's 
Now I'll sandwich him. are you going? take forever to crack to be honest we have discovered the enemy's hidden units what is the units Should have let them come in and further in, I think. Look at them squeezing crew again. Forever to get over there. down here on all sides. The men are wavering. Which ones? Yep. Mm. You have a better idea. to let the, this first army pass through quickly finish them off then deal with the reinforcements otherwise they're gonna grind me down I'm surprised the ballista doesn't get any more, more kills
Yeah, I need to quickly get rid of the first army or what they have over there by let them letting them cross them. have an unfavorable reinforcement point for them because you always need one way to flank at least and it will take too long for the troops to get through here and down in the south of the map so that's a no-go See here, or are you gonna use these guys as bait? Spread them out more like that. I'm gonna keep the calf here this time. And I'm gonna keep these in reserve. This way they all spawned here as well. We must make them proud that we are their defenders. More than that. Enemy reinforcements approaching. It's gonna take a while for the reinforcements to come in as well. They're gonna cross actually. I think they're waiting for the cab to do something stupid. Cross the bridge. Go! 
first to command. Ready and waiting. Engage. Visionary cavalry. At your service. Oh god, looks like I'm gonna face all of them. Granted. I can just envelop them here, no need to fatigue my units. Yeah, they really got a decent amount of kills. Nice. It really looks like they're starting to come over. Yep. Kills on one of these. Probably the one that was firing over here all the time. One of our units has used all its ammunition. As you command, ready! It's gonna suck for them if they just go down this way. Like they are. Ready for duty. One of our 
units has used all its ammunition. And the double, August! Extempo! Brave Romans to a man! Melee troops awaiting orders! Proud Romans! All oh. infantry at your command! One of our units has used all its ammunition. I like the fact that they're developing this one really well. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Or that well, better soon. It would be good to actually try these out as well. A bit more. We can get some cav in there as well if needed. Two of them are breaking there. With ease. That'd be a good idea to send some cab over there. Bastards who broke through are a bit annoying. I want to grab them if possible. I'm going to be speaking a lot. I have to think a little bit here. Not uh, as easy as. Uh, damn it. I'm going to be as easy as I thought. Have faster round or earlier. Oh, 
Bowman is ready for duty. Advances makes tempo. Equities. Roman is ready for duty. The enemy general is dead. Oh, that's great. Commander, at your service. An easy. Rising wing. These guys not breaking their. Not only is their formation breached, it's all over the place. Brave Romans to a man. Ever party! Equities! Commander! Roma in victims! Engage! Guy broke over there. Good. That I'm not surprised. Painful display. Romans ready for duty. Pack charge. Ready, for ready. ready. Riders, advance. Forward. Okay, this is good. This is good. They have nowhere to escape here. But you don't just stand there and wait to get poked.
be it for them. Is turning in our favor. Yep. Did maybe lose a couple of units. Well, we are outnumbered by a lot. Now I just need to kill as many of them as possible. That's a lot. I need more cav in the future. Just get them out here. After this battle, though, uh, already past midnight again, but I want to get this done. Probably gonna be it, or what we can catch. We love a good bridge battle, even though we didn't fight it on a bridge exactly. Three thousand versus seven thousand. 6,000 kills. I love that KD ratio. Even more than 3 to 1. Slaves, but um, I'm worried about public order problems still. Maybe we should have a clear shot in Singidunum. Or what is today? Belgrade, right? No good, they came to babysit me from the pirates. Definitely. They're not gonna attack me, no way. Hopefully those pirates did some uh, actual damage over there. That would be nice. 
No decibels. So the Athenians joined. I forgot, to get to, I forgot about it again. God damn it. Wait, wait now. Oh, right, these. Funny enough, funny, they joined the war against me, but they moved their uh, army away. Seems a bit odd. Disembarking. Ready for further orders. It is an honor to serve. We can guard this with this fleet. either way so let's just uh, move forward or that just what ready for battle ah! really that fucking up we hunger for battle march waiting for more orders at your command yeah we should be clear to attack that next turn Merge these up. Plunge from them, them immediately. Like that next turn. We hunger for battle. Good. Once we take this, we only need to take the uh, Athena and Sparta are going to be the worst one. I think. That should be it for now. Let's move this guy back. As far as we can, that is. I got to remember that the Epirus has fleets in this area. Those are going to be a pain in the ass to catch. since they can cause some damage but anyways right i have an idea mm, yeah the pro you'd wanna you know when uh the politicians have a trade that you don't like like this guy has bigot which decreases loyalty whenever my player culture is not the most eh, that's only giving us minus five minus seven of this Factors. I don't know, we'll see. I'll figure something else out. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good morning, good day, good night. And see you next time.